Right, come on, let's be honest. Pork is such a versatile and delicious protein. And with just some very small steps, trust me, you can elevate that dish to a culinary masterpiece, even in 10 minutes. Right, Oscar, pan down, let me show you the ingredients. Pork tenderloin. The nice thing about this part of the pork, it's almost like the pork fillet, okay? Very, very lean, incredibly healthy, but more importantly, cooks within like three or four minutes. Beautiful slices of prosciutto, beautiful fresh corn, red onions. We're gonna do a nice sort of, it's almost like a corn roasted salsa. Beautiful heirloom cherry tomatoes, a little touch of chili oil, fresh spinach, fresh basil, touch of butter, and this is my secret ingredient. It's a little bit of garlic powder. That absolutely elevates pork to a whole new level. Right, let's have 10 minutes on the clock. Pan on. The salsa needs to have texture. It needs to get a little bit of sort of char. Best way, literally try and keep it whole, okay? Keep your kernels down and just sort of be quite vigorous. And don't worry about slicing them off into tiny little particles. Just literally hold the kernel up and then literally down. Now, scrape into that husk. Okay, what we're looking for is the ribs. How do we get that char to begin with? Lightly season the pan, okay? Throw that corn in there and get it toasting so it becomes salty, charred, and a little bit of flavour. As you know, there's no oil in there yet because I want to char it, and that starts getting the outside bursting with flavour. As that's taking place, I love using red onion in salsa. Top and tail of the onion, slice it in half and just nicely slice. Don't go too thin. If it goes too thin, it actually starts to sort of overcook. Onions in, charred. Again, dry pan. Really important, dry pan. You'll see why in a minute, because that's where all that flavor's gonna come from. Next, get your cherry tomatoes, okay? And literally, just slice these in half. I wanna blister these, okay? And the nice thing about these tomatoes, they're so soft, succulent, but incredibly juicy. Don't throw them in too early, okay? It's bursting with flavor. They are so ripe, it's beautiful. I like to just season those tomatoes before they go in there. That'll help them to sort of bleed, take out that incredible moisture and intensify the flavor. Now, look at this. Pan down, pan down, please pan down. Oscar, look, char, 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 okay? Everything's getting nice and charred over there. A little hint of dry chili. Salsas need a lift. They need a bit of a oomph and a bit of sort of a, you know, a sort of a kickback. And that dry chili in there goes beautifully well. Get your pork, lightly season it with salt and pepper. I like that coarse pepper. Pork, you know, you've got you to give it colour to get some flavour in there. And then look, dust it both sides with that beautiful garlic powder. That makes the pork a little bit spicy. Again, dust, dust, dust. And you'll see when we come to saute this, it gets that really nice, crisp flavor. Now, again, season. Leave them almost lightly dredged in that. But now look at this char, okay? It's now drying out and charring, it's bursting. Pan, nice and hot with the tenderloin. This pork tenderloin, okay, I promise you, you can finish pink, okay? It doesn't need lots of cooking. It just needs a nice quick sear. And look, that spicy, beautiful onion powder gives it exactly the nice color it deserves. In, start off at 12 o'clock, all the way around. And that nice caramelized pork is delicious. Get all that in there as well. In, time please. Wow, so three and a half minutes gone. Now, don't turn that pork, okay? Do not turn that. Look, 12, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. I want some color on that pork. Doesn't need messing around. Before I turn it, a small knob of butter, okay? In she goes, just around the outside, in. And look, my corn is actually popping now, but pan down, please, Oscar. 
Look at the char on that. There's nothing in there. It's just charred beautifully. Really beautiful. Now, spoon on and flick that pork over. The secret behind this pork is letting it rest. But look at the colour on that. Pan down, Oscar. Oscar, pan down, please. Pan down, pan down, pan down. Beautiful. Honestly. Oscar, behave yourself, otherwise we'll get Megan back. Now, from there, we're going to start that salsa moving. I've got that nice, charred, beautiful flavour. OK? In with a touch of oil. Mmm. Now you can hear it coming alive. Look, she's letting you know. In with a touch of chilli oil. Now it's coming alive. Now I put my tomatoes in. Time, please. Halfway. Off. Snap. Crackle and pop. Look at the colour on that. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Now, pork. It's going to take literally 45 seconds each side. And it's a fillet, OK? So treat it like you're cooking a fillet steak. Out. And then literally onto the plate. And get that draining, OK? Really important. Out and drain. That garlic smells delicious. Pan back on the heat. Give that a little wipe. Wipe it out. Now, look at this. With a salsa, turn that gas off, OK? That smell is delicious. I'm going to fold in some of my spinach, my fresh basil, OK? Get that pan nice and hot. And then, look, deglaze the salsa with a touch of vinegar. It's going to bring it all together beautifully. And now, on top of that, with your olive oil. And all of a sudden, we've got this nice, beautiful layer. But look at that. The spinach is melting throughout. The char on that corn is just incredible. And look, let it sit there. Let it sit and almost marinate. Now, prosciutto. Time, please. Four minutes for me. Oil into the pan. I want a little bit of crispy texture to this pork, OK? In she goes. And these are so tasty, especially when they're nice and crispy. Lay them into the pan. And then, literally, 15 seconds each side. And look, on. It's like sort of posh bacon, nice and crispy. And it gives a lovely texture. And it's pork on pork, but just with a different dimension. A little touch of kitchen roll. That helps get it really nice and crispy. And that's it. Look, out. Over. Mmm. And the smell of that is incredible, let me tell you. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Onto the kitchen paper. That gets it even crispier, drains off any excess fat. And look, finally, the big one. I like to give that a touch of seasoning. As it starts to cool down, that salt sticks to it. Off with the pan. And beautiful. The poshest bacon in town. Now, time, please. This is the exciting part. Look at that salsa. All you do is just place that in the center. OK? It's marinating beautifully. It's popped in color. I'm going to put a nice layer of that crispy prosciutto on there. I'm going to get my pork and sit that just on top, literally. And then one more. And then from there, it's going to drizzle a touch more of my salsa on top. And then, literally, that corn smells delicious. A little touch of olive oil on the outside. A little touch of my chilli oil. Just dab, almost like dabbing it. Time, please. You got 90 seconds. And then, literally, just kiss that with a touch of oil on top. And then finally, look, here it is. Oh, boy. That is just music. And these beautiful little bits around. And that, honestly, has to be one of the most delicious pork tenderloins anywhere in the country in under 10 minutes. Bon appetit! To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologise, but slow it down. 
Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey and 10 cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're gonna come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.